everybody, it's Miss Wheeler. Um, just going over how to activate your floor planner account and um, just get it all set up um, to where you can start actually creating your floor plan. So the first thing you're gonna do is just go to floorplanner.com. I have um, I have the um, Google slide for the project instructions in Schoology, so you can head there. I have it laid out, but I'm also just putting this in so we know what to do um, if that's not making sense to you. So you click on the floor planner button um, on here, and then you're going to go to, and if you can't access that, just do a floor planner search, and it'll come up with the correct thing. Um, you go on to create a free account, and then um, I would just sign up on here, just sign up with Google. Um, if otherwise, you can use your school address and password. If for some weird reason your school address won't work, um, then use a personal one and a password. But sign up with Google usually works pretty well. Pick your actual one on there, and then it should um, pop up. Mine just pops up without like this, if that makes sense. So you're going to have a little extra step. Um, to actually sign up right so you'll click on that and then there'll be like a sign up with your school account and password or under Google um, and you have to kind of enter that sometimes then you go to your email if you need to like mine pops up right there but you might need to go to your email and click the verification email that's your sent when it pops up mine doesn't do that because I've already logged in many times um, but if you're like noticing, okay, I like added my school account or I clicked on my school account, added my password, if it makes you, um, it might not. And then um, it's not working, then go to your email and then just you click on the verification. Okay. And then the next step is to click on here. And this should bring you to a very, like basically to get a verification code um, to put it in. So like on here, you just have to click on this to accept an invitation to be added to my class. So it says you've been, been invited by, that's my email, to join their team, and you hit accept. This way I can see all of your um, projects. Um, if you don't, then I can't see them, and I need to be able to see them to grade them and stuff, and then I can check up on them if you need to. Okay, so that's the first step. The next step, I have instructions on the next slide um, going over how to actually to get to the right place to actually create a floor plan. Um, so you're first going to go to projects. So move this around. So instead of on users, my, it's going to show a little differently. But it show on, normally you might be on dashboard. So what you want to be on before, and this just shows some of the other projects I've done. You're going to click on this projects right here. And then on here, kind of in the upper middle, is create projects. And then I want you to name it and put, like, you can put your first and last name if you want, but at least do your last name. And then put owner suite. And that's what we're going to be working on. Um, later, if you create one and then you have, you're like, oh, I want, I want to do a new one, and you end up liking that one better or something like that, you can just do, like, add a number before or after or something. Okay? And then, so you get to that, and then on you'll have Start Project um, right down here, and then you click on Start Project. You don't have to fill in any of the other information. It's totally fine. And then the last piece is click on this empty plan. We're not going to upload anything or do Room Wizard. It's best to just do empty plan. Um, so, and then just click on that, and now you are... I'm um, ready and set to start on your floor plan, which I'll do a different video for. All right, have a good day. Bye-bye.